Assalamu alaikum. What is the purpose of school? Why do you go to school? What's the best reason for going to school? It may not seem very important to you to ask questions about the purpose of school or why you go. You may assume that the answers are too obvious to even discuss. But my goal in these videos is to make you think more deeply about your motivation for going to school and getting an education. Why? Because why would you want to do something for anything less than the best reason? Once the Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, sent Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him, to lead a group of soldiers to battle. One of the Muslims was heard suggesting to his friend that they should join that group going to battle because they might get an animal or slave or something of value as a result of defeating the other army. This showed that his intention for joining the army was to get something of material or worldly value. So the Prophet said, Actions are according to their intentions, and every person gets what they intend. So whoever goes on a conquest in search of what is with Allah, then their reward will be from Allah. And whoever goes on a conquest in search of worldly affairs, or with the intention to acquire a rope for his camel, he will not get other than what he intended. The man who wanted to participate in the battle for material or worldly gain was motivated by something much less valuable than what he could gain by doing it with a higher purpose. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, basically said that whatever you're chasing, that's exactly what you'll get. If we want the best result, we have to make that our intention and motivation. If we apply this idea to school, then we can see that what we get out of going to school also depends on our intention and motivation. Do you want to spend so many years of your life going to school and only come away with a rope for your camel, so to speak? I think not. I've split this discussion into three parts. In this first part, we aren't even going to talk about school itself. Instead, we're going to discuss two things I think you'll find much more interesting. Food and money. Why? Because we want to understand the different types of value that things can have. And these two examples will help us with that. Let's start with food. Yum, yum, good. Yum, yum, good. Think of the perfect food. What does that mean? Well, consider all of the things that make food good. What makes it valuable, beneficial, and desirable to us. We need food to live and survive. Without it, we would die. So picture in your mind some type of food that is physically beneficial. Food that gives your body all of the vitamins, nutrients, and energy it needs. Now, another thing we want from food is for it to actually satisfy our hunger. So think of something that will leave your belly feeling full and you ready for a nap. Last, make sure it's delicious, because we also like food for its taste. Okay, I'm thinking of a nice hamburger. A healthy one with fresh vegetables and not too greasy, of course. Now, instead of food, think about money. Picture it as stacks and stacks of $100 bills filling a bank vault, or big bags of gold coins, or millions of dollars in your bank account, or whatever you like. You can imagine yourself counting it, throwing it in the air, jumping from a diving board into a pool of it, and swimming around in it. You know, enjoying it. It's true! I landed in money nirvana! Now, when we think of food and money, we can feel and understand that both of these things are desirable to us. They are both valuable to us. There is some benefit to having them. But food and money have two very different types of value. Intrinsic value and extrinsic value. I know these may seem like difficult words, but if we look closely at them, we see that the only difference between them is their prefixes, or the letters they start with. When something has an intrinsic quality or characteristic, it means that quality is inside of it. It belongs to that thing. It is part of the nature of that thing. You can remember this because intrinsic starts with I-N, like inside or internal. When something is extrinsic, it means the opposite. A quality that is extrinsic 
does not belong to the thing. It isn't inside of it. It's outside of it. You can remember this because it's like the word external. Food has what we can call intrinsic value for us, meaning that the food itself is valuable and beneficial. When we eat the food, we immediately experience its value and benefit, no matter how much other people may like or dislike that food, because the food's value isn't dependent on anything else. Imagine you had your favorite food in front of you, and you were really hungry, ready to enjoy all of that delicious nourishment. Now, imagine that you're the only one in the world who has a desire for that particular dish, for whatever reason. You offer it to others to be nice, but no one else is interested. They just all think it's gross. Would that change the value of that food for you? Not at all, because the value is intrinsic to the food. It doesn't matter that no one else understands how delicious and nutritious it is. That doesn't change the reality one bit. You would say, fine, more for me, and start chowing down happily. Money, on the other hand, has extrinsic value, meaning that the value of money is not in the money itself, but related to other things we can use the money to get. The value and benefit of the money depends on what we get for it. If a million dollars can buy us a mansion, then it is valuable. But if it only buys us a stick of gum, then it is not that valuable. So money doesn't have any value in itself. Its value depends completely on what we can get for it and what other people are willing to give us. When it comes to things with extrinsic value like money, everyone has to agree that it's valuable because then they'll be willing to exchange it for things that people really want, like food, houses, cars, clothes, electronic devices, and all the other great things we dream of having. If you have a million dollars, but you are the only one who thinks you should be able to buy a mansion with it, everyone else just thinks it's worth a stick of gum, then you will not be able to buy that mansion. That's the difference between food and money, intrinsic value and extrinsic value. So what about school? Is the value of school more like money, meaning extrinsic, or more like food, meaning intrinsic? Is school more like money, or is it more like food? That's what we'll discuss in the next video.